What is today? Friday. T G I F. Happy Friday, everybody. Let me get a cup of coffee and uh, let's get uh, in gear here for a Friday. Let me see if I can get at the other side here and see myself. Let's uh, see the morning squeeze downside. Yes, there we go. Watching myself over there. Good morning, everybody. Happy, happy Friday, June 11th. What's up, you? How you doing? Good to see you today. And uh, hey, Jennifer P. How you doing today? <laughs> like Jennifer. Good morning, Kimmy. How you doing, sweetheart? Good to see you. Hope everything is going well with uh, you. I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee. It's every, you know, I had somebody write me some more cheese. Now you get up at nine or ten o'clock in the morning now. No, I'm usually up these days if I'm not working. If I'm working, I'm up at six o'clock. If I'm not working, I'm up at, um, you know, seven, seven thirty. Hey, let it go. How you doing? Good morning. Were well, you two is cracking down? The staff is back in the office. Really? I think they were cracking down uh, a while ago. Um, you know, I try to tell people in 2021, it's a whole new ball game, man. It's, it's, YouTube ain't fooling around. How you doing, Darlene? Good morning to you. A little bedhead going on today, right? <laughs> nice to see, let it go. Let me grab a cup of um, coffee here. Heat that up a little bit. Hope you all are having a good day. <sighs> I'm one of those people that just heats up coffee from the day before. To me, it always tastes the same. Ain't no different. Heat that up, it's good. So I've been working, guys. i selling, i got people picking up stuff. I'm uh, downsizing like crazy here. Downside, what's up, big dog? What's going on? What is going on today? Scraped myself yesterday out on the chooch. Glad to see everybody. I think downsizing just feels really good. I just like to go and just see, you know, if I decide to sell and leave here, I don't have a big job ahead of me. You know, I want to get uh, just, I don't feel like I want to be owned by things. Um, what's up, Rectover? Good morning. How are you? Coffee with Rosie. We got uh, Farid. Is that Farid here? Good morning to you, J Money. MJ, morning from beautiful NorCal. Yeah. It's a Marilyn Monroe morning today. So I hope everybody's doing well. Just hanging out, chilling a little bit this morning. Um, my phone is blowing up. Looks like elbow got uh, terminated again. I have, no, I have nothing to do with that. Like I said, I could care less about um, <clears throat> YouTube work so efficiently these days that you don't need to even be, you know, their systems work so good. Hello, Miss Brianna. Thank you. Good morning. Hello, Jen Jen. Hey, the only reason I'm inside catching live is too hot in the shade. Hey, how you doing, Jordan? Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Jay, things are going good. I really, uh, some people got pissed off. Um, hey, Jen, Jen, some people got really pissed off by celebrating not having jury duty, right? <laughs> tongue in cheek, people, tongue in cheek. If I'd been called in for jury duty, I would have done the damn jury duty, okay? No doubt in my mind. <laughs> It's a beautiful day in the foothills of the Canadian Rockies. I'll bet it is. Oh, there's, uh, I think that they're probably pretty spectacular, uh, the Canadian Rockies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, once again, YouTube ain't playing, guys. You know, it takes a, it takes a week or so, but uh, yeah, and you can. You can have your stream again and talk about what a bad platform YouTube is and how it's bad for business and blah, blah, blah. We'll hear that same thing again. But, uh, brother, you ain't coming back. That's the bottom line. Welcome to the working world. Toast that barge, lift that bell, do do do, and another day. Old Man River, that old man river. 
He just keeps rolling. He just keeps rolling along. Remember that great musical showboat with Ava Gardner? Hmm? He just keeps rolling. Yeah, nothing wrong with being a worker of the world, right? It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> All right. Hey, Tanya Z, I haven't seen you in a while. How the hell have you been? Good to see you. It was on my other channel. It must be the heat stroke, but I still want a cup of coffee filled with ice. I don't think I could ever. Yeah, it looks like Jordan Blue, the old. Uh, I guess YouTube is not um, ready to have people teach how to uh, uh, pick up and negotiate with prostitutes around the world and all that. I guess it's not uh, whatever. Good morning. Hey, Amanda Lee. But uh, nothing of my doing on that. I had no involvement. I just don't even get involved with that crap all anymore. Discord won't let me post the link. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know. Jay Money, you give good advice to other creators up to them to take it. Uh, yeah, learn the hard way through experience. And, uh, the days that just roared back to YouTube are, uh, are gone, guys. Just uh, their systems, their AI. It's not like in 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And into 20, yeah, Discord's down. So I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on. I suspect that YouTube, uh, I think a lot of social media has been under a hacking attack lately. Some, th some things are unusual. If you've been on YouTube, as I have uh, every day for seven and a half years, coming up on seven and a half, over seven and a half years, you're very sensitive to change when you know when something's gone wrong with their systems. You can tell when they're, um, you know, they're struggling to keep stuff going along. You can tell when things are kind of uh, being screwed up a little bit on, on YouTube. What's up, Joni? How you doing today? Ah, uh, nice to see you, Joni. Uh, it's interesting that um, Cam O'Day has been covering people complaining about uh, campgrounds and RV spots. And somebody did a video, or somebody mentioned to me that Thor Industries, which is a major producer of RVs, has like an 18, what is it, 1.8 billion dollar backlog of uh, RVs. I tell you guys, <laughs> good luck. Good luck when you get out on the road. When you got that big Class A, that big Class C, even that big uh, wide body camper van. If you're not into trying to make a go of it in urban or um, you know, boondocking, you're going to have a really, really tough time. And you're probably going to get disenchanted with the whole prospect of RVing because now they're charging more for overnight spots with 30, 50 amp servers. They're charging more than you pay for like a Motel 6 or something like that. So it's pretty, pretty damn insane. Sold and got a 24, the 33 was a beast. I couldn't do that. How you doing, Barbara Ray? I couldn't do it. Uh, I had a, uh, started with the GMC. It was, I think it was 26 feet. Then I had the camper van, the Coachman camper van, the 88. That was 19 feet. And I'm down to, I don't know, uh, 13 feet or whatever. <laughs> Next, I'll be in the back of a VW, be in the back of a Volkswagen Bug. I don't know, I'm sleeping back there. I don't know, but uh, it's, uh, man, I mean, it's, uh, like I said, trying to, trying to open campgrounds and trying to uh, get OKs for zoning. People don't want that stuff. They don't want RV parks. They don't want campgrounds. They don't want 
transients coming and going in their uh, neighborhoods. It ain't going to happen. Ain't gonna happen. BB and John sold our 32. Just use our minivan and tent. Best way for us now. That's what I'm saying, BB and John. Uh, for the people that are hitting the road now, they're getting a very, very uh, rude awakening. Because let's face it, most people that are RVing now, they want the comforts of home. They want that hot shower. They want that kitchen. They want that nice slide, multiple slides that come out and creates a nice living room, uh, dining room, or a super big uh, bedroom and stuff like that. Man, you can't park that stuff on the street. Right? And they're thinking, no, yeah, we're going to Yogi Bear it right down to the Jellystone Park. Be like 10 bucks a night. We'll just pop it in there. And it's like, well, we're taking reservations for 2023. <laughs> and all that. Yeah, Judy says, is that why some camping reserve companies looking for large enough landowners to earn while... Exactly. Exactly. I could put slides are problems. Yeah, slides are big problems. I could put an RV park in the back. I could have... Uh, 50 amp service installed in five, six, uh, I don't need any zoning thing. And I would have this place filled in wine country with people bringing their RVs uh, in here, right? And the neighbors wouldn't give a shoot. They wouldn't care. <laughs> they <could> care less. <laughs> this is the ideal spot. But they may not like pulling out on a road where people die regularly and there's an accident every other week out there. And it's a crazy, crazy bottleneck, so. Cabela's cracked. Cabela's doesn't want overnight parking anymore. It's not going to be long before Walmart uh, lowers the boom nationwide on uh, parking because, let's face it, uh, it's nice for Walmart to have the money, but they don't need it. I mean, you're, you have a lot of people that are, not a lot, but a few people are abusing the privilege of parking at Walmarts and then they're, uh, you know, taking showers on the parking lot and uh, leaving their garbage there and um, setting up uh, uh, grill fires and all, you know, it's, it's not, Walmart doesn't want to be in the camping business, right? Hey, Daddy. Uh, oh, Double D, off to the dentist, take care. Uh, thank you, Yo Daddy. Is Rolf here? Hey, Rolf. Hey, Patty. Long time no see. How you doing, Rolf? I hope you've been good, Patty. I haven't seen you in a um, haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen you in a while. For once, of those those of you who are logging in, uh, I woke to the messages that uh, Elbow's new what was it called, Monger? Mexico monger, I don't know, I never checked it out. Mexico monger or something like that has been um, terminated. And that's kind of like uh, karma just continues paying out on that front. And it's going to be paying out uh, forever. So, you know, and I'm, I had nothing to do with that. I could care less about, um, as I've said a hundred times, I don't really care about uh, what which way, which direction you go and things is not germane to me. Because I know the way that things work now on um, YouTube and they work in a very high degree of efficiency and I don't really care. You know, you've proven yourself to be uh, very bad for business and uh, YouTube just isn't playing around anymore with uh, that. So it's just karma keeps dishing out. You make bad decisions you live with them. So I went back to work and keeping. Oh, okay, Patty. All right. How you doing, Betty Smith from Southern Minnesota? All right, Southern Minnesota. I'm gonna go up there and spend a, a brutal week in the north in the worst weather. Blizzard, snow, ice, 30 below. Let's get it done. All right. Happy Friday, Teapot, 85 in the house. Don't forget the thumbs up. Yeah, thank you, Patty. We have found that if a sign says full, go inside and talk. We have always got a spot, at least for one night. 
Well, that's good, Jan. I don't know these days, though, in this in 2021, uh, because all I'm getting is feedback about, yeah, Rosie, you were correct about this or that, and um, you know, the crush of people that have bought RVs, and we don't have a consequent expansion of national park areas. We don't have an expansion of uh, private campgrounds. And all these people, their expectation is to go somewhere, right? And the problem is, where are they going to go? Um, oh, thank you, Smelly Cat. Uh, well, thank you, Patty. It's great, great, great to see you. How you doing, Sugar Cane? Hope you're feeling better. Uh, but when you go to... Um, buy that RV, the, the average person doesn't want to be a Rosie and just shoehorn them, himself or herself into a tiny van and boondock in the 100 plus degree climates like Yuma, Arizona and places like that. They want to be comfortable out there. They want that 50 amp service. They want those ACs running. They want that pool. Um, they want that whole experience. So I knew that this crack up was going to be coming with uh, RV. So the good news is not for them, but for us is, or for people that want an RV is this will, uh, this will cure itself because a lot of people will step away from the industry. They'll be disenchanted fuel prices, costs of RVing. And it's like anything, a boat or whatever. They say the happiest days in the boat owner's life are the day you buy it and the day you sell it. <laughs> the two happiest days. A lot of that's true with RVs. You see a lot of RVs in storage and people just, they don't do it. So, uh, you miss the orange juice. Uh, missing you, make Hey, Silva, how are you? Some park there, you remember the Wi-Fi. They have to rebuild exactly. The great philosopher of YouTube. Hey, Tina. Thank you. Well, isn't that interesting? I majored in philosophy in college. Uh, well, we can leave the great part out. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. This, um, we're 90% better now with this uh, terrible, this was a radical tooth infection here. Went all the way down the neck. Was terrible, so that's doing better. People are gonna have to read. They're gonna have to rethink the RV stuff, is right? Because um, I noticed yesterday. I haven't looked at the markets today, but I noticed that West Texas Intermediate Crude um, was, uh, I think it was spotting somewhere over seventy dollars a barrel uh, in a sustained uptrend here. And we know the cost of everything has gone up. Inflation was uh, almost 5% uh, in one month for the month of May. We know costs are going up. I'm watching things like fast food. You guys know, I, I don't know. I try to get quality fast food. I'm just watching. I'm waiting for those prices. They had those reports of Starbucks. Can't get the straws. They can't get the the uh, ingredients that they need, the brown sugars, and they're having a really difficult time. And that's those shortages, people that have pools with chlorine, and there's a lot of shortages because industry was down. When I drive from Palm Springs to Las Vegas, I notice there's a company out in the middle of nowhere, God in the middle of nowhere called um, American chloride or something like that and they were, they were just dead out there. Teeth pain is the worst, yeah. Uh, uh, tooth pain and the elephant. Uh, a tooth pain and earaches will bring down an elephant, yeah. I uh, will do that. Uh, I'm glad Jan's doing brighter. Hey Vivian! Nice to see you. You're gonna have to go electric with next SUV purchase right out and get pulls late last summer, yeah. Rumor has it you're buying Rich Life's RV. Um I I'm gonna tell you what, um, Kelly. I've never even seen the RV. I saw a couple pictures of it and things like that. There's no way that I would negotiate a, um, I can't have a big RV on this property here. I have a 
like a 10 foot entrance to the driveway off a of off a road that people park on both sides. I have a hell of a time even swinging my little van in here. Uh, I did find the key to the swing gate in the back. Might be able to get an RV in that way, but I have no interest in fueling up a 12,000 six ton uh, vehicle. I just don't have any interest in that. It's just, it's not. I can pop in my van. <clears throat> I can get 30 miles to the gallon. Uh, I can sleep comfortably in it, get, get my hygiene, get cleaned up every day with soap and water and feel darn good and be out having a good time and saving money and doing restaurant experiences and trying the things in those uh, areas. So, no, I'm not looking to get a big RV. But there will be a lot of RVs on the market, I guarantee you. So, pool is first world problems. There was there's that many sold to about 60 to the time that would make my uh, flower pot on that. Uh, yeah. To where you can go and park. Yeah. With me, Patty. Hi, Missy. How are you doing? <laughs> I <laughs> think Missy said, if you have interest in that, I would have you committed. <laughs> right, Slap. She'd come down here. She'd drive from Kansas City to Slap. She'd drive the 1,900 miles from Kansas City and slap the hell out of me. <laughs> uh, that's funny. A patch, patch, patch. I don't know what it is with teeth. I just, you know, good Lord. I mean, I, for two years ago, I had heroic dentistry. I had three root canals in two weeks. That was uh, amazing. And I wanted to save, managed to save the teeth, but the endontist said, you're going to need some really heroic dentistry to save that uh, last one. And I uh, told my Chinese dentist, encouraging him in Chinese, we can do this, yeah, and he said, it's probably not going to last, but I got two years out of it anyway, so I don't know uh, when I get down to Mexico, but it's tough when it's 120 degrees down there in Yuma. Wow. You're back in KC. Good morning, Charles. Nice to see you. I may actually be off to, hey, Tattoo Crazy, how are you? Thank you, Vivi. I may actually um, um, end up, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might go back to, uh, I have an invitation to go back to Palm Springs. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that uh, there. And then and that would probably encourage me. I, don't, I can't even think about, I can't even think about driving that road from Palm Springs to Las Vegas again, which was uh, scary and just very destructive. I don't know. Uh, and I've been challenged to spend uh, spend some time in um, Slab City too in the heat. Uh, the interest is the uh, most feeling I can actually take. Hey, Paul David, how are you? Donnie's going to, you should meet up. I plan on uh, meeting up with Donnie in Vegas. The plan is to go to Vegas. He's looking to get a spot that he can use as a base camp. And I suggested uh, Laughlin. I hope Cheryl's not here. She always corrects me. I call it Laughlin. Laughlin, uh, Nevada, which is on the Colorado River. So, I don't know, but I go Wednesday. I've never been to Laughlin, so I'm going to see if I go. It's probably likely I'm going to Vegas on Wednesday, but we're I'm going to be hitting there in the teeth of a really major uh, heat wave by even Vegas standards. But we always have a good time. Always have a great time. Uh, let's see. Look, it's nice to try something new. Oh, it's fine, Betty Smith. I like uh, I like black hair. I mean, I just mess around. Somebody was kind enough to send it uh, months ago. Have you ever tried Platinum Blonde? Uh, yeah, my Marilyn Monroe stuff on my Instagram. You can see me with the uh, Platinum Blonde. It's short. Um, but I'm 
definitely going to be on the road. I've put the jury duty threat behind me. I have to ship out a lot of things on Monday. I've sold a ton of, I've sold all of my camera gear, all of my, um, uh, uh, gimbals, sold my ZV-1, Sony ZV-1, sold the, uh, I had an Atmos Ninja, uh, external video recorder selling that and sold my selling my drone you know because i'm not going to sit down and do a damn license and stuff on to fly a drone so i'll get a drone that's under uh 250 grams if i want to fly that which puts it uh out of reach of faa uh regulation i don't need to go through all that uh, uh crap you know i don't want to do that uh, let's see what do can me be to husband for you uh yeah sure if I, let's tie the knot and let's move to uh let's move to algeria and make a go of it there right <laughs> it's not a hookup channel you can't keep still for five i know vivian I was so happy and people were, oh you made such a big deal out of uh, missing jury duty. It was like every day I could feel the lightning bolts striking around me. Ding, this group gets called in. Ding, I'm group for 35 tomorrow. Groups 34 through 41 will report. Yeah, no, it was like groups 36 through 41 and the next day it's groups 1 to 11. Then the next day, it's like uh, uh, 28 to 34, and I, <laughs> they keep they kept hitting all around me, and I'm like I can't believe it. And I called it like Russian roulette, a six shooter with uh, one one bullet in it. Now, what are your odds that you're going to escape? Right, every day, click, click, click. <laughs> is only if you have 10 million I'm completely out of jewelry pool I believe for two to three years because at the end of it they say um, thank you you have now completed your jury service for the County of Sonoma judicial system we want to thank you for making the judicial system one of the co-equal branches of government and one of the pillars of American democracy <laughs> the whole thing. All that was missing was the uh, Star Spangled Banner at the end. Do, 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 do. <laughs> ah, so I'm out of jury pool. Yeah, I did, Magenta. I wasted a week, you know, but I didn't waste it because I've been minimizing. I've been downsizing here. I cleaned here. I've cleaned all of these cabinets and get down on the floor and, and scrub this uh, floor and um, I'm doing a lot of things because I want to come into a house that looks basically, I mean, I got to have a nice place for the next, you don't want the princess of the rancho, the new princess or the new queen of the rancho to just be stunned like a harp, like a baby harp seal on the ice, boom. <laughs> she walks in, oh my God. It's like one of those damn fraternity houses that you see on TV, Rosie. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to be working out, Rosie. I don't think we're going to. Hey, my damn. Sorry to hear that, Vivian. So that's what I'm saying. You can imagine walking in. Rosie, I'm so glad to be on the ranch show. I say, honey, you better hold that thought. <laughs> Come inside. Uh, Rosie, you live here? Yeah, you do too now. This is your new, this is your new home here. The ranch show. Uh, hmm. Uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't go in the workshop. You might trip and fall and kill yourself. Don't go in the shine shack. There's big black widows and everything in there. Uh, 10 million in a mansion on the hill. No, I'm not moving and selling. 
I want to get to a point because I know when I'm away one of these times, the rancho is going to be nailed. They're going to, the, the, the hood rats are going to be in here and they're going to break in and, you know, it's just inevitable. All right, it's just the times. I'm in a very, very heavily urban area here in a very uh, tough uh, neighborhood. Uh, it's just, you know, it's surrounded by some land. It just looks like a tempting target to people. So I'm going to make sure the worst comes in. They just kick out some drywall and, you know, graffiti everything. <laughs> Ah, you get out of there, and then my river home is pretty minimal. I my mean, man, just crazy. Plymouth Sheboygan, how you doing, Ronnie? Uh, so, I need to, I'm not really going anywhere. I thought to myself sometimes I would like to go. Um, but it's kind of nice to have a home base. I wouldn't mind just being just a nomad and just be on the road. Uh, but then I think eventually you want to have a place to come home to. And who in the hell knows with inflation and the way things are going now, you never know what's going to happen with all this funny money the uh, Fed has printed. You don't, you got no idea what the hell is going to happen. Uh, none. <clears throat> hey, DT, prime real estate, yeah? I think you'd like, uh, I like living in, I like living on the edge. I like, uh, I do like that. <clears throat> I do like it. But you know, eventually the city's going to grab that land in the back lot, and that's going to be it, right? And then I'll just be just another urban property with a 12 unit apartment house in the back. Uh, Brighton, okay, take care, Teapot. Thank you. Time to do it up in Spain. No, I didn't put a garden in this year, uh, Jan, because I'm traveling. And they're telling us don't water it, don't use the watering, don't uh, conserve water. And then even though I have a well, I'm trying to use that for uh, fruit trees on that. So, you know, where would your favorite place to be live in the world? I would probably, um, that's really a hard question to say because every place that you can think of to live, eventually you'll, it'll get tiresome. You could say Paris, but after a while, the bustle of Paris would be annoying. You could say London, and I've spent a lot of time in London. That would be annoying. You know, I could see, say Hong Kong, but I spent a lot of time in uh, Hong Kong. Um, I don't think, I think I'd like to be here to tell you the truth and just use it as a, um, as a base, right? Uh, city of Sheboygan, people are getting top dollar for selling there. I know, it's definitely a seller's market if you're interested. I know. Oh yeah, we won't get rain out here, Toodles. Good morning, Susie. Yeah, before a hotel or parking takes over. Or an apartment building here, Susie. All around me, every piece of land that they had has been <clears throat> just turned into development here. So this is like the last, this is like the last frontier. It's like the Ponderosa in the midst of an urban hellhole. Ding, 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 ding. Little Joe, why you know like hop sing cooking, huh? You know like hop sing? Look hoss like hop sing cooking. Hmm? Yeah. Look hoss big boy. Australia, you would love, I'm sure. I mean, I'd lo I've, I love Adelaide and uh, Perth, Western Australia there. I think Perth is beautiful and um, all that over there and uh, Yeah, I love all that stuff there. Yeah, they got me surrounded, Betty. They got me surrounded here. So I'm just running out of land. Yeah, I got a big lot for a city. Hey, Cupcake, how you doing today? It's a big size lot for a um, city. Yep. Ah. 
Good morning, Glenda, and your gangster friends. I like that. <laughs> your gangster friends, but it is nice to uh, minimize. I think I would like to. Uh, uh, I think I would like to do one more moonshine run this summer. I haven't done one in years, and then sell the still. There's plenty of people that would buy that. The beautiful Kentucky-made uh, stainless steel and copper. Kentucky made still um, just keep keep working down so that when I walk out of this place it's just my vintage audio gear and one suitcase and that's it that's all I want pick me up to take me to the hospital for the test all right you love the shine shack yeah we beat Melbourne huh in the middle of the asphalt jungle I do Susie I do have an oasis in the middle of uh of a hellish urban, almost right dead center in the middle of uh, the city of Santa Rosa, yeah. But the city just hates to see vacant land. They don't want to expand the footprint of the city outward. They want to do what's called infill because the existing infrastructure of sewage and water pipes and things are already there. But it's still kind of a, still kind of a drag. I have a hunch since waterways are more freely and this one will be the next nor nomad sensation. I'm not sure, Judy. Hey, Chef, how you doing? Because, you know, we had a boat for 10 years from 72 to 82. And, um, you know, you have to have a river boat somewhere. You can have like mooring balls and things like that, but they're very limited in number right? or slips in a marina. So you face an even more expensive problem. And let me tell you, maintenance on the water. If you need to fix something on the water in a marine setting, I guarantee it's twice as expensive as anything that you do on land. Okay? Because the waters are, are, are the enemy of uh, mechanical and electrical systems, especially salt water. And there's just not the, uh, they're not, you don't get the permits for the marinas to be built. And the same kind of problem with RV. So, boats are expensive. Break out another thousand. What's up, Carl? New free tree. I had to pull my uh, Bing cherry tree. It just wasn't making it. Uh, it's probably just, it's just too dry. Just too juvenile and too dry, so I just it just finally died. So I got one cherry tree left, Estella. Next to McLaren Val. Yeah. Good morning, Karina. A huge man from a bakery no just arrived. We thank you for referring me to some oh okay, MJ nice. Yeah, so as far as boating is concerned, it's uh, marine repairs. If you have to use the travel lift and pull your boat out and put it up on land, uh, you're looking at probably these days $500 to $1,000 for that. Get yourself shored up on the dry. Uh, it's, it's expensive. It's expensive. Expensive. Good morning, uh, JK. Good morning to you. No slips, river anchoring as they travel, if that's still, yeah, you can, you can, you know, you just, you have to be careful, right? River anchoring, and, um, you know, you've got to make it in with a dinghy, and uh, it's, it's just, it's very expensive. <clears throat> I don't think anybody ever really goes, I don't think anybody's ever really long-term committed to boating. My neighbor at the river sold it for him. It's a pontoon. You never put it on the river land. It's expensive. Maintenance is crazy. Yep. Is Quirky here? <clears throat> Do we got Quirky here. There's Quirky. Yeah. Hi, babe. How you doing? Hope you feel better. I hope they're at least dealing with the pain, honey. And it rains on that it's uh, Bob so much that you have to get a motel room at these times. Uh, uh, I don't know. I was 
was glad to, I was glad that boat was gone. It was just, I was only pressed into service when there was an engine to be uh, rebuilt or a generator that broke down and wow. Ah, it's nice to see Quirky Girl. I hope she's getting pain relief and everything else in the hospital there. So, uh, listening and doing chores around the house. All right. New from Austin. Hey, Ava, good morning to you. Uh, yep, they had a baby boy. Yeah. They had a baby boy. Uh, so, what will we do without a mongering channel, huh? <laughs> oh man, I couldn't believe that this morning. Uh, I'm on my way to getting better. Thank you. Good, good. Get better. The baby boy. Baby boy. I have my coffee with chocolate, collagen, peptide. I take my collagen every day. Good morning, Sarah. What are your plans for tonight? Well, what would you guys like to do tonight? The end is this Friday night. Um, Friday night. Friday night. Hey, how you doing, Princess? Good morning to you. Creams it up nice, makes a great flavor. I don't have any milk today. I've just been using coffee made here. Um, uh, checking in that, uh, cooking in that oven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I might put up some, might, might do some bread. I really like a, a good, good homemade loaf, like a ciabatta bread. Man, 31 years, we're doing nothing as usual. There you go, Betty. Uh, birthday plans? I think I'm going to be... Um, I think I'm going to be on the road back from Vegas on... Uh, not this Monday, but the following Monday. On my birthday. Uh, a nice present for, for me would be to put all this monetization stuff behind me. And uh, be get that all squared away and be reapproved. That would be a nice birthday present that may actually come as early as mid June or uh, or August. So come over for Kitchen Stadium. I'll probably be coming to you first, uh, Chef. Hanging out with you. I love to do a great uh, cinematic of Chef, insane Chef in action. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'd love it. Chef would tear up Kitchen Stadium. Chef, every chef is just gold. There's the ice cream guy. Chef's hands are just magic. He's intuitive. I like to think I'm intuitive too. You saw the way I put those pancakes together. I used a little bit of uh, barley malt syrup. and I like to just chunk stuff together so maybe nice restaurant in Vegas maybe so what kind of lawyer for what uh, quirky what happens quirky girl suing somebody um uh, what happened what do you Kirk what do you Kirk quirky girl what kind of lawyer does she need to hire to pay I don't know yet man oh man yeah well, hopefully you're on uh, you're on uh, immediate workers compensation because it was a job related injury, and then it becomes up to a tort T O R T personal injury attorney if you're injured on work or the job a tort uh, uh, liability attorney who specializes in workplace injuries, and they investigate and see whether that. Uh, the company or the institution had things set up in a manner that uh, protected the safety of workers with procedures, protocols, and all that. So, uh, oh, well, thank you, Gail. Thank you, sweetie. It's filled the claim on 2021. It looks like, oh, man, I can't believe it, Chef. Sad. 
right, we're chatting on YouTube. I don't see my videos. There's thing. Uh, not okay. Not job related. Well, um, then it's institution related. Uh, you still is uh, there still could be some liability if a mental patient attacks somebody in a. Uh, institution or something like that so but have a good free consultation with a uh, personal injury attorney okay yeah the pain must be phenomenal Bobby went through that Bobby went through all of that when he broke his hip he tripped over the dog that really sucks yeah that uh, I can't believe the job that the hail did on the on that chef's trailer there. High and strawberry buds. Uh. Hi, Miss. Hi, Missy Gray. Let's see if I got enough coffee for you refill here. Yeah, I can't believe uh, the quirky girl went down like that, right? The official channel, the official channel mascot is down and out, man. Three to six months out on repair. Yeah, it takes longer to uh, mend. I would believe, I, I believe that. It takes longer for this uh, tooth infection to go away. Uh, that really sucks. I gotta check these tires, make sure this is okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna probably uh, probably go ahead and pop some new tires on the van front tires the rear tires look great i don't have any issue with them but the front tires are looking real sketch i wouldn't want to be on the road from palm springs to vegas again without um some really kick-ass tires on I do have an invite to Palm Springs. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that or not. Oh, oh boy. Let's have some Dutch Brothers. Uh, Get some Dutch Brothers going, huh? Man, thank you, Shemay. That's the real deal right there. Look at that. DB. DB. Dutch Brothers. So, what do you guys feel like doing tonight? I think I'm going to do a kitchen stadium tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to do another chicken dish. I might do another uh, chicken cacciatore. I have the uh, sauces and everything. I've got carrots and I don't know if i got onions or not. Here. Let's see, i got some garlic. These potatoes are all rotten now. I'll take them back to the store, the son of a bitch. Sold me uh, rotten, rotten potatoes. Take them back. Baking! I don't know what I'm going to bake. I want to be out and about. I want to... I'm half tempted to go up to Madrone Manor again, but we just did that. I know I'm going to be going to Hoover Dam again this time. I'm going to check the water level out at Hoover and uh, cruise around Boulder City a bit out there. That'll be fun. 
and then uh, <clears throat> get down to some intense Southern California traveling. There's more places between I-5 and the coast that I want to check out. I've been researching some really good stories and uh, some really good, really good stuff down there. So looking forward to that. So that's going to be good. I'm just heating up this coffee. Uh, good morning. Hey, Vivian. Yeah, take care. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Rain for almost two weeks. Any nature type place to wander, green and growing? Well, good luck out here. Everything here is brown and dying, honey. Brown and dying. Telling a lot of places in Las Vegas now, don't water your grass because right? the Lake Mead is so low, unbelievably low. Lake Mead. Uh, Lake Mead is so darn low. Send some rain. Oh, Hoover Dam is at 1930s levels. It ain't going to go up. That's why I would seriously question the long term of a home purchase in uh, Las Vegas. The only advantage Las Vegas has is when you think of all the straws that are in Lake Mead, and there are many straws that are pulling out of this. The straw that's closest to the bottom, the deepest straw, belongs to the city of Las Vegas. So. <clears throat> well, the other straws become uncovered because the water level's too far below them. The intake levels of the, uh, uh, the two intake towers for the turbines, as the level reaches a point, they have to stop generating power there. They have to turn it off. How you doing, North Shore? I haven't seen you in a while. Eventually, the water reaches a level where it can't drive the turbines. There's no water coming in. And then, uh, effectively, Hoover Dam stops generating electricity for the first time since 1938. And then, you know... Uh, Las Vegas just becomes the last straw in the the last straw in the cup. What will they do? I have no idea what they'll want to do. I don't know what do what the West wants to do. You have states that are so dependent on the Colorado River. I guess pray. I don't think Vegas will be around in that. I just don't think with climate change and I just don't. We're you know this it's turning into a desert. See, for us here on coastal California and California compared to Nevada, we get the storms that come off the Pacific, right? Uh, what they call the Pineapple Express just brings lots and lots of moisture in. It hits the Sierras and you get snowfalls that are measured in six, seven, eight feet up there, right? So we don't, we don't really have that. We're kind of low, but not, not like they are. Yeah, they can buy electricity. I mean, the grid can support that, but, uh, you know, you can imagine the rates. Hydroelectric is about the cheapest that you can get. Food and sex and fun party favors come naturally, huh? Uh, so I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure what the prognosis will be uh, for Vegas. I, uh, you know, you got to worry about... Los Angeles gets a lot of its water from Northern California. I recommend the Prime Rib. Okay, North Shore. Prime Rib, uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to do that, North Shore. The Prime Rib special at Ellis Island, I had to double cut there. Okay, so just remind me when we're choochin' to 
Let's choose that area up by Ellis Island up there. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, let's check that out. Yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Betty Smith, not much interested in the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up with Jefferson T. Rowe? Uh, don't be able to eat food again. Okay, take care. I'm uh, Miss Name Wiles. Uh, to my macro track. How you doing, Smelly Cat? Nice to see you, sweetie. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what you guys feel like doing. I may take, if I go to, uh, if I run back down to Palm Springs, I might go Sunday. I'm not sure. Um, but then that's that, that's a horrific ride up to, uh, Las Vegas and that on that road, I just don't know if I can, I don't know if I can stare that down again, that ride, you know, it's just so, so friggin' brutal that ride. So damn brutal. So I don't know. You know, I got people wanting to go back to Slab City and the Mojave Express Highway. I hate that road. I don't know what that's called. Let me look that up, guys. Let me see what the hell that road is called. <clears throat> that should be called the Highway of Doom, right? Let's see, uh, Palm Springs to Las Vegas. Uh, let's map, let's look at that on the map. Four hours and 10 minutes, 232 miles. That's 400, that's 232 miles or four hours, the most horrendous driving that you will ever do in your life. What the hell road is that thing called? I don't know. Amboy Road. That's what North Amboy Road. That was it. You go up Amboy Road. Mojave Trails National Monument. Then you go up to what's that called? National Trails Highway. Then there's this thing called Kel Baker Road. I guess that's Kelso in Baker, California. Kel Baker, and that's really horrendous. <clears throat> I'll tell you, it's just woo, takes you through the Mojave National Preserve into Prim. Join up with uh it's just awful. Just horrendous, guys. You look at that on satellite, it's the road of death. It's the absolute road of death. Terrible. I don't know what the hell that place is. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I wig, but I'm afraid to brush it. Uh, I don't know, Susie. I got no idea, honey. Just throw it on or just torch it in the backyard. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, heat wave. It's 120 all the time in summer. I don't know what the hell it's called, um, Goldie. I just call it the uh, highway of death. It's just unbelievable. Drops, scan goes the edge of huge craters that go down you know, a thousand feet. I mean, it's, it's just spooky. There's no way with the tires I have now that I can do that. What the hell's that digging? What, expect delays 32 construction on it. They call it California. What the hell's that? 62 East? Is that what that's called? Yeah, it's California 62 or something. It's just too, too spooky. Right. Everything's going to be hot as hell. Coachella Valley National Wildlife. We went down to Slab City.
I think we went down 177 to Slab City. Now we did went down to the Salton Sea there. I don't know. It's all a nightmare, guys. It's all a nightmare. Cities of doom. And we're going to be 110. Yeah, and they turn on something like Save Electric. Oh, I might burst into flames. <laughs> uh, that is funny. I'm not quite sure what to do now. I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be heading to Vegas on Wednesday. But I look at the weather for Vegas and it's just, you know, wow. <sighs> Putting your, it's like, it's like going right into the, right into the lion's mouth. As we say in China, you're just heading right into the mouth of the lion. <clears throat> Yeah, so we're looking at Wednesday 116, Thursday 115, Friday 115, Saturday 112, Sunday cools down to a relative comfortably comfortable 109. Woo! <laughs> yeah, thumbs up or appreciate guys if you're in here this morning. Uh, uh, please like up the stream and subscribe if you're not subscribed. So record high temperatures possible in Vegas. So I don't know. We might have to change our plans up a little bit. I'm not sure. But there's no escaping the heat. Bought a little rancho with her sister out of south of Death Valley. Well, Gene <clears throat> uh, into Vegas on a sketchy road. Yeah, they have a side road there. And Gene from the post office into uh, Vegas there, yeah. So you get like the same town that you just no we don't have any humidity at all smelly cat it's dry as dry can be so when they talk about a dry heat yeah it'll fillet the skin off your back but you won't have that uh it's 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 there's no heat is heat is heat heat is heat is heat madonna yeah, on us with the blonde hair who's that girl hey debbie how are you Maybe on July or August. I think a lot of people are going to cancel because of the heat. It's not the it's not a good season to go to Vegas right now because you had an initial surge of people, but uh, uh, I I like it because extreme weather makes for good content. You know, if you survive, but you got to take a you got to have a lot of water with you. Uh, you got to stay hydrated because you can just keel over. Might be uh, the heat might be such it could be an early start to uh, Black Widow season. Let's see here. Let me check something. I only got 17% power here. Let's see. The big trip's down to Mexico. I got here. <clears throat> Let's see, um, let's see here, hold on a minute. Man, I'm so glad I got out of jury duty. Let's see something here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the real uh, quirky girl. So, you'll probably have to remove that, uh, Jen Jen. Please remove that address. It's 
filter. Uh, I don't know, Quirky Girl. We're not allowed to post addresses in the uh, chat here. I'm sorry. Yeah, pain makes you forget. I just I got to stay out of trouble. I don't know. Can you put it over in the maybe put it over in the uh, Discord? It's okay being a blonde, you know? It's okay being a blonde. It's okay being a blonde. Uh, I guess you could put it, you could probably put it in a comment section. Um, just put it in the comment section after this video. See different shades on you. Let's see red. Are you or quirky girl? You can post. Um, you can post it just in the comment section. Quirky girl has a good recovery. Uh, I'm not sure what would you uh, uh, what would you do. Uh, I didn't even brush this out. I just threw this threw this mongrel on today, <laughs> just for shits and giggles. I don't know. I might have to post. I might have to. Uh, <clears throat> Might have to do the Southern California leg first on the adventure. I haven't quite decided yet. What uh, you want anything? You want you want anything yet? What is it? No, I haven't eaten yet today. I haven't eaten. I guess I should have a bagel or something here. One of these here, blueberry bagels. You guys know, you guys know how much I love blueberries. Yeah, brunette. Yeah, quirky. I hope you feel better, honey. Hope you feel better. God, how horrible to have broken a leg or whatever. Ah, uh, poor quirky. Poor quirky. <laughs> I 
There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, I was in ER for a panic attack. I don't blame you. I'd I'd have a panic attack too with that going on. Yeah. Yeah, quirky girl. We love you, honey. We love you. Make sure to follow those doctor's orders. Thank you. I'm designed for dark hair. So, uh, what do you guys think about tonight? What do you think? What should we do tonight? I wouldn't post any phone number or anything uh, on here. Uh, okay. Uh, what what you can do is post the number here, and then after a minute or two, um, after a minute, Jen Jen or somebody can remove the number. Okay. So if you want to copy down the number, um, Jen Jen, let her post the number, and then we'll just remove it. So in the hospital, but you're really not supposed to post any personal information on. And uh, there's a lot of people that like to try to strike people, so I guess put it in the Discord or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, we just can't have anything posted in here of that nature. Yeah, it's like a no-go. Good morning, Ninth Element. Thank you. This was sent to me by M. Rose. Like night times would find us at Rosie's Cantina. The music would play and clean would work. Dark were the eyes of that Mexican man. La da de dee la da 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. Mexican girl. Good old Marty Robbins. Uh, uh, uh. What a flower you can do. That's it. Let me uh let me take a picture of that real quick. So you can remove that number now. vicious you need a red dress mm. so I'm not so sure it's cool to be out there and 
in the desert this week. But I don't know. It might be like that all winter. Who? I mean, all summer. Who the hell knows? <clears throat> Ten day for Palm Springs. Uh, 111, 114, 117, 116, 116, 50. It's always the same. All summer long, right? You roast your balls off. Mmm, hot and ball smelly. Mmm, brutal red road runner, huh? I don't know, Cindy, what would you like to do tonight? Mmm. Good. <laughs> Quirky girls choochin' homeless camps. <laughs> Quirky girl, will that speed your recovery? <clears throat> Maybe we'll just have to locally hit the streets here tonight. We haven't done that in a long time on foot. Man, that's a dangerous proposition. Seen up that road, man, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Mm. Yeah, we did Sausalito. I did a whole, did you ever see my uh, day trip with Dee to Sausalito? Mm -hmm. Yeah, take Mace. I better take my Beretta 9mm with me. Mm. Yeah. That area is hella scary, guys, now. It's just... Wow. Scary as hell. Let's do a meetup in Boondock and NorCal. There you go. <laughs> Jen, I take gloves too because I know you're going to want to touch stuff. <laughs> well, we will. Don't do. Don't, did you go back and watch my men day? I did not, um, Quirky. Maybe Jen can post a link to that. Honestly, I didn't know you were posting content. Rosie Beretta Murphy. Hmm? You're gone. You're gone. What's up, James? How you doing? I don't know what the hell to do. This global warming is just like, wow. Mm. No, I didn't see that. Ox's balls. We can stand under an ox's balls in the woods. You in? What the hell does that mean? Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. My bubble gut. There you go, Bronson. Glad to hear it, my friend. The bubble gut. We call that gurgle gut up here in the West. We call that gurgle gut. Ah. Uh.
Stop mast. Yeah, here we go, Susie. We still have um, California was the first state into uh, emergency. It'll be the last state out. I don't know, I might have a burning man here and just light up something on the rancho. If you watch this fall, this virus will be screaming upward again. <clears throat> I'm on Oxycontin song and uh, Delauded and I'm frost-eyed. Mm. Yep, that's right. Burning Man started on the beach by the Golden Gate. That's right. Mm. Let's check something out here. I don't feel like going down to Tonopah and Goldfield again. See this hotels.com. Says our apologies. We're currently offline. You know what the hell that means? I'll tell you people. There's a hell of a lot of hacking going on. There's a lot of hacking going on. Mm. California, I thought, was going to fall in the ocean. Be like the, be like California is like the Titanic. <laughs> well. <clears throat> Yeah. This is the CBS Evening News. Tragedy in California today. California is gone. Yes, the whole state of California has disappeared into the ocean. <laughs> uh. We got two, two reservations. What are you eating? I had... Uh, I had a bagel. I had a bagel. Oh, here's the golden one. Got all this stuff ready to ship out. All that crapola. Trying to get stuff organized here. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. Oh. Chill out this morning. It's chilling out. I don't have any armpit kitties. Right. No armpit kitties. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but I've got this I got this place definitely under control. The question is, do I want to go into the jaws of that heat in Vegas? I mean, I know we always have a good time down there. I know it. Oh, excuse me. But, uh, that heat, that heat's, you know, or should I be in the hostel? That's funny as hell. Can you imagine 100, 117 degrees with whoa man at the hostel again? <laughs> All those stinky feet all those COVID and uh, plague germs flying around that place, you know, bubonic plague and other sort of terrible uh, diseases. So bad you can almost see the bacteria and viruses floating in the air. <laughs> uh, yeah, chooch at 11 p.m. 
Where do you post the stuff for sale? I don't disclose that, uh, Patricia. Um, I decided you don't have cats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's getting there. I got a lot of work. I still got a lot of work to do here on the minimization kick, but it's gone pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. So... <clears throat> Going pretty good. Yeah, 117 is almost debilitating. Uh, if you have airfare, you can pop for a cheap room. How you doing, Diane? Cheap room. I think Mr. Z is doing all right. I think uh, Facebook local market and Craigslist have been excellent for me because I have a lot of people come up from uh, San Francisco, <clears throat> places like that. They want to buy. And to see him. Yeah, one one seventeen is dangerous. That puts it at one twenty five to one thirty degrees on street level. Yeah, yeah, Craigslist is free. Yep. Craigslist is free. Craig's list is free. <clears throat> Let me see if I can have this thing sit here like this without falling over. That selfie stick that Kev sold me finally gave up the ghost. That thing. Uh, let me just donate. Got lots of stuff to sell. Yeah, donate is a good thing too. I've donated a lot of clothes. Thank you, Kale. I've donated a lot of clothes and stuff over uh, over time. Because yeah. uh, uh, people love clothing. I got an air conditioner from Craigslist. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can find some good stuff on there. Find some good stuff. I'm thinking them good vibrations. Do, 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 extract, hey. Good, 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 good vibrations. Do, 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 good, good, good. Uh, so I don't know. The heat is a very negative, uh, big name. Got my German Shepherd off there. Oh, nice toodles. Nice. Very nice. I'm jealous of people in Oregon. They can have pet uh, pet skunks. Uh, I've been watching you about two or three years. Enjoy your content. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, when you and Jordan going to be doing a video, I hope... Uh, who's Jordan? Going to be doing a video a second... Soon, I hope, take you, uh, Max, which, uh, who is Jordan? Am I having a brain fart? Lots of live sales. Uh, emotional attachment to some item. How do you find an order? I don't, I, 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 I'm not a, uh, I'm not a person that, derives really any kind of pleasure out of material goods none at all hey Joni. hey justin i'm back long time no see <clears throat> move your thumb off the camera sorry you know, i have chickens in the backyard we got chickens all around us here too i have no at emotional attack you'll notice in my uh my place here i don't have any photographs I don't, I'm not the least bit sentimental about things. 
no photos, no nothing. All right. <clears throat> Elmer. Just not a sentimentalist. I'm a minimalist. I'd like to be in like Korea and have just walk into empty home with wood floors and you pull out the futons at night and pack them up. Oh, Jordan, yeah, I can't wait to do, uh, I'm going to visit Jordan in uh, Florida. Hopefully I can hang out with them, him a bit and uh, maybe boondock at his place and buy a couple meals. That would be great. Yeah, I'd love to, uh, love to hang with Jordan. I, I admire him so much. Uh, the work he does and the stories he brings, he's definitely somebody I look up to. That is undoubtedly. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't really attach myself to anything. You know, I don't, I just don't have any, um, for me, everything's about real life. And uh, just being out there and embracing life. I mean, we got a major problem with this weather situation. This is, this could be death road right death highway here yeah that's it sherry you live like me very minimalist i'm working on it i'd like to get down to about 10 vintage receivers and gradually move the rest out <clears throat> Knowing how you feel about animals, we had a raccoon, mom and three babies. And ba oh, I don't know, uh, Cheryl, did you have to flee your house last night because of that? I would have had to abandon the house last night, Cheryl, and go fleeing into the night. All right. Hey, is that, uh, thank you. Weather in the UK is dank and cold. Yeah, it's like one end of the spectrum or the other. Cheryl, I would have had to flee into the night if I had an infestation of raccoons. Oh, you really like the GMC? The GMC motorhome was good. It's just, Joni, I had a devil of a time getting that thing out on the road here. It's just too, too tight. I have to expand my driveway. And I don't, I don't want to rig that big. I don't want that gas mod. Eight to ten miles, eight miles to the gallon. It's crazy, six tons. <clears throat> I mean, it was beautiful. I had a dishwasher in it. It was nice, but the bed was too cramped in the back. It just, uh, you know, I just, I'm, I like the van. You know, because I'll put myself into a hotel. I get a lot of help from people here. Nobody wants to see me roast my ass off and stuff like that. So I'm blessed, you know, and uh, I don't know, but, you know, I don't know. You know, horrible weather makes great, uh, great, make vi great videos. So. But I don't, I don't know if I buy uh, a place in the desert. <clears throat> I'm not really sure. Uh, sure. I like to be on the go too much. I wouldn't mind returning to Pismo. That was nice down there, Pismo, and hanging out there for a week. Something like that. I like the 70s customs vans. Yeah, they were nice, the 70s customs vans. Yeah, they were nice, Joni. They sure were. The 70s custom bands were good. Hey, Witty, how you doing? What's up? I'm here, other ginger mystery. What's up, Witty Widow? How you doing? Sorry about what happened to your channel. But, you know, girl, when somebody tells you you've been porn bomb, don't argue with them. Don't question it. <laughs> Just take that shit. Just delete that stream, honey. Don't. <laughs> don't argue with him nobody saw anything they was just laying on top of him you didn't see anything yeah you did <laughs> you got to keep yourself clear honey right the witty widow 
Man, Anderson Anderson was going nuts, wasn't he? Yeah, Quirky Girl had a uh, terrible injury. Terrible attack by a mental patient. Not on YouTube, so. Make an average day better. Well, you know, we got a real, we got a, we're on the horns of a dilemma here, guys. You know, we've got outrageous heat out here in the West. And it'd be fun. We, I'm going to have to get some, I'm going to have to change out these front tires. These tires are going to have to go. I can't do the ride from Palm Springs again to Las Vegas on those tires. Let's see, Max says, thank you very much. I love you. And if it wasn't me, I would not be uh, all the side I... Oh, and I never get a chance. Oh, that's fine. And Max, thank you. I appreciate you being here. Much love to you, too. And I I have so much admiration for Jordan and what he does. And uh, I'm surprised Witty Widow hasn't said, uh, Rosie, you've taken this to Pismo and Carmel by the Sea and Monterey and Solvang, California, and Ensenada, Mexico, T1, and honey, I'm going to Mexico City and Acapulco, right? Come on, give credit where it's due. But in the meantime, back to Vegas, honey. <laughs> she hates Vegas. <laughs> she absolutely hates Las Vegas. We're going to go down there and put it. We're going to take a couple chairs and sit at the side of Lake Mead and watch uh, Lake Mead evaporate down there. That should be fun. You know, much I look forward to. Yeah, I know. She just loves my Vegas trips. You get on her hang. Oh, my God. It's like, I, I love Rosie, but Jesus, do you have to go to Vegas? Yes, I do. <laughs> Yeah, Quirky Girl was assaulted. <clears throat> she was assaulted. She had an assault and battery there. Terrible. Some mental patient attacked her. That's usually the crap that happens to me. Right. Uh, you show us the slums. Not in my not in my latest travel. Did you see Carmel? That's your kind of place. Uh Linda, all fancy, dancy, and beautiful homes with cypress trees and overlooking the water and the bay and Clint Eastwood's ranch. Come on. Beautiful. The Carmel Mission. All I brought was beauty. Solbong, Denmark, and in, uh, in America. All that stuff. But you know what the reality is, Linda? People love to see the places I'm comfortable in, which are ghettos and uh, bad areas and all that. Right. You know, some have a dream of seeing me get my ass kicked. Others, you know, just enjoy seeing places that they will never go. The van starring Danny DeVito. I never even heard of that movie. The Van? What the hell's it called? The Van. I don't know. I think the funniest RV movie was uh, <clears throat> The Long, Long Honeymoon with uh, Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball when they had that long travel trailer and they did that. Yeah, Eastwood's Ranch was beautiful. It was very elegant. Linda, if you haven't seen my video visiting Clint Eastwood's Ranch, very understated and very elegant. Uh very understated and very elegant. I was at the ER for panic. Wow, and you got attacked in there? Wow, you had a long trailer. Great, great, funny as hell. That I love the part where uh, Ricky's driving back in the trailer into his going to visit his in-laws for the first time and he they're talking about how they love their prized roses on the arbor on the driveway and he just takes out the whole he takes out the whole <laughs> he takes out the whole damn thing <laughs> I love that I love that I love that 
Checking, hey, Jesse, how you doing? Checking in during lunch break on the pecan ranch down there, huh? Getting ready for another pecan season. We're just drying up and uh, we're, in the, we're in the inferno of hell in the West. We're drying up. Drying up. So I'm going to see if there's any um, tire specials. I might spring for a couple Michelins. For the front i don't know i'm gonna have to get some kick-ass steer tires i just i get scared on some of these two-lane roads that if i if i pop a tire out in the middle there ain't nobody i'm literally 120 miles from anywhere in either direction and if i go down out there there's no cell signal there's nothing and I just, I get attacked and eaten by coyotes or uh, wild wolves or something out there. Uh, it's terrible. Terrible. So I gotta, I gotta be, I gotta be really, really careful. Really careful. You are fearless. Um, I don't know if I'm, I don't know. Uh, I always said, Linda, some people get their thrills climbing Everest in K2 and dying. Some people get their thrills free climbing, no ropes, nothing. Free climbing half down at, uh, at Yosemite, right? Some people get their thrills drag racing. Some people get their thrills parachuting out of a plane. Uh, something I would never do. Some people get their thrills scaling tall buildings. And uh, if you saw my community post about the Huashan Mountain and going out there, which I did before. So my thing is going into the, you know, my thing is urban exploring and uh, ghetto life and stuff like that. I love that. That's how I get back alleys and alleys of doom. Because if, if you die, you die. I mean, uh, right? You're still a young lady. Enjoying life. Hey, Em, how you doing? See, I got your rose permanently parked there now. I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm just having a relaxing morning this morning. I love it. Love the rose. Love the rose. Love the rose. Uh, I, don't, I wish my boobs were a little smaller. It's almost impossible. <sighs> Why is that doing that? It's got a real bad vibration, doesn't it? What the hell's that? That's not good. It's what you get for a pawn shop guitar. What the hell's that doing?
$13 guitar or something. I don't know. God. Hear that's terrible. That's terrible. Check it out. We got some kind of weird buzz on that thing. I got no idea what the hell is causing that. No idea what's causing that buzzing. Uh, one string's laid on the fret. Really? Is that it? Is that it? I don't even know how to adjust it. Something laying on there. I don't see anything like touching it. I don't even know how in the hell to adjust it. I don't know. Oh boy, too close. What does that knob at the guitar bottom do? Uh, what this thing? You can hook a uh, strap on it, right? Hook a strap on that baby. Strap on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so we're gonna have to get some tires guys we're gonna have to get some tires i don't know i just don't know how i feel about a, a hot trip i don't know i'd like to see mr z i'd like to see monkey boy but i don't know the earth's vibration it could be yeah got a strap on <laughs> rosie ain't no pin cushion <laughs> just to reiterate that anyway ladies and gentlemen i think i'm going to close it down i'm going to do some um research on some tars today and uh see what i can figure out in the way of tars i might be able to catch something uh, decent today uh i haven't even checked outside to see if you know my tire indicator came on last night but i have zero confidence in that effing thing right now because it's a it's a total fail all right i feel like just disabling the system and if you get a flat tire you get a flat tire it's useless as tits on a bull right so um, anyway guys I'm going to uh, close it out, and uh, thank you for being here today. If we can get 13 more thumbs, I'm not sure, Patricia. I haven't heard anything about a ceremony, so I'm not sure. So uh, I will check with uh, Mr. Z. Thank you all. Had a great day. Um, if you want to pop into the Discord, uh, Quirky's info, if you want to send her a card or call her, we'll be in there. Uh, she is hospitalized. She's in a tremendous amount of pain, but we love the quirky girl. So have a wonderful one, everybody. Uh, give her a call. Get her cheering up. And thanks, everybody. <laughs>